Tonight we're getting a look at a first of its kind effort to discover how many potentially dangerous chemicals are in our drinking water. Earlier this spring, we told you about nearly 60 closed landfills the MPCA said had PFAS contamination above state standards. Our Aaron Hassanzada shows us what the state is doing now to make sure our drinking water is safe. Crews here in Shakopee are looking for a dangerous contaminant that you can't see with the naked eye. It has no smell or taste, but can cause serious health issues if we ingest too much. The Minnesota Department of Health is looking for PFAS in our drinking water. The forever chemicals are found in everything from carpet to clothing. Our goal overall is to, save, to provide safe drinking water to Minnesotans um, and to be less reactive in our response, waiting until you know, we think there might be a problem. They're testing public drinking water at about 100 different sites across the state this summer. Most of them are municipal sites like this one. But some are smaller, like this mobile home community in Shakopee, really anywhere where more than 25 people are drinking the water. This has been a long time coming. Um, this is something that we've been working towards. While the plan is to eventually test most of the public drinking water across the state, MDH worked with the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency to identify areas with higher risk of contamination as a starting point. They've sampled for PFAS across the state at different sites like closed landfills, um, some spray irrigation sites. And so far, the results are reassuring. Well, at this point, we haven't had any results that are above any health-based guidance values. Though the Work will continue to learn more about where these ominous contaminants are lurking as we fight this battle against an invisible opponent. PFAS are emerging contaminants. We're still learning a lot about them. In Shakopee, it's important to, to know what's in your drinking water. Aaron Hazanzada, WCCO 4 News. Later this fall, MDH will share the findings on a public map so people can see if their area was tested and see the results.